Dr. Sylvia from Bellevue East. You're gonna have to excuse my voice, my immune system is attacking itself. Uh, and this poem is called Grandy. You know what's ironic? The fact that my close relatives wilt quicker than winter-bound flowers, dropping like flies the next one to die in coming hours. It looks like those who I confided in expire faster than dairy, lifted to the heavens by the dust of a fairy. First Marion in her sleep, her heart weaker than anti-vax kids, and now it's Robert. He died with a bottle of rum pressed against the missing temple on his head. Remnants of an attempted stepchild suicide, sc one scarred by the war in Nam. God has a great sense of humor, taking out my favorite people without even a whisper of sound. Marion didn't feel pain three months ago, but God decided to push Robert off of his tricycle and didn't even try to kiss it and make it better. God left Robert and his now spilt rum paralyzed on the floor. He stood over Robert and spat on his cold, limp body. My grandee is gone with the wind, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Crucified to the rug he collapsed upon, Jack Daniels reeking through the gaps in his dentures. The neck of the bottle shattered through his tightly closed fist, his sagging skin decked with age spots struggling to stay together. Each wrinkle in his face is a history book of fantastic war tales and life stories. But God decided that no new wrinkles should be added to the plethora that Robert already had. God picked Robert up by his thin white hair and threw him aside like a toddler's rag doll, and he laughed. But I'm not laughing at this quote unquote joke. God, you are so funny, but joke's over. Give me my grandy back. I still need him. <laughs>